Hey y'all, so before I get into this video, I just want to tell y'all, I lost all this footage, like I had to like retrieve it back in a crazy way, like you won't even believe how I had to get it back, how I even figured out a way to get it back, what took me so long to drop this video, I lost most of the footage, but good thing I got like the main good footage, like the actual footage that I needed of all the clothes and stuff, so that's the good part about it. But sadly, the intro is not there. So I was like, dang, I cannot start a video without an intro. That's crazy. So this is basically like a little intro. I hope you guys enjoy the back to school haul. Um, I'm going to try to link. Or if you ask me, I'll try to give everybody the places of where they're from. Just DM me, text me, comment, whatever. I'll see it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so first, I think I'm going to start off with like the accessories and stuff it's not really a lot of like accessories so i'm gonna show y'all jewelry and my bag so first thing i got was from pandora this is like a cute little box and everything y'all uh, what i bought i have it on right now so i bought this charm bracelet i know pandora has the cutest charm bracelets and i just got one charm on it i don't know if i can see it but it has an m on it so that's what I got from Pandora, y'all. Then from Marc Jacobs, came in this cute little bag, y'all, with the Marc Jacobs wrapping paper. I got the all black camera bag. Um, I think it's the, I wanted to say it's a snapshot bag, to be honest, but I don't think that's the name of it. But I just know it's the camera bag. And it has like Marc Jacobs. I got the all black because black is like a color that I wear a lot. And you know, now that fall's coming, I feel like black is gonna be like the best color for me to wear and for school i don't usually carry a purse but if i were to carry a purse i want it to be black and this one was just really cute really spacious i like wearing it i keep my wallet and other stuff in it and as you can see i've already opened this so like i've been wearing it and stuff it's really cute i definitely recommend y'all go get this purse as my shakeups on it and it's really cute so next i'm gonna start off with my pants I probably have some I have some more pants but I'm just gonna go through most of my pants these first pair of jeans that I have are from Sheen they tie up in the back on both sides in the back and you could tie it to where it doesn't show skin like at all or you could wear shorts underneath it and you could tie it all the way to where it doesn't show skin it's however you want it but me personally I don't want it to show the skin so on the back I'm gonna tie it all the way up and I'm probably gonna wear some shorts and yeah and they just they're like straight leg jeans and they're a light wash and they're really cute these are from sheen and i got them in a size i think 27. i got them in a size 27. i usually wear a 26 sometimes but i think i'm starting to be a 27 because i like the way that 27s fit you know so yeah the next pair of jeans i got are from urban outfitters y'all know it has rag jeans on it I thought these were the like the brand that they always sell of jeans. It's actually like a bead. I don't really remember. But they weren't. They're called rag jeans. And I got them in a size 28. Y'all they're like these cargo jeans. Like this little loophole right here and pockets on the side. They're really cute. And they button up at the top. They fit they fit my waist really, really cute. And these were, um, I, I seen these online and I liked that they were a light wash and I really like light wash mom jeans. So I felt that these would be real cute because I'm tired of getting like simple jeans, you know? Yeah. So the next pair is some cargos. I might've seen these. These are from Sheen. These cargos are real cute. They have pockets on both sides. This is a size petite, extra small, and they fit kind of small. I should have got a small, but first of all, I didn't even know that these were petite, so that's something I just learned. But yeah, these are a petite extra small, so if you like wear like 27s in a size 4, get a petite small. If you do buy it from the petite section of Sheen, get a petite small because these are tight like 
in my waist area and like the crotch area yeah they're tight right there but i'm gonna still wear them because they're really cute next pair y'all know being in high school y'all know y'all just y'all need some sweats like they're really essential like get some sweats so these are my favorite pair of sweatpants they're from urban outfitters i have a pair in gray i have a pair in gray and they are so cute like i literally love them so i was like i guess i'm gonna give me a black pair because after last school year i was like why do i not have a pair of black sweatpants like i cannot put anything together no type of chill fit because i need black sweatpants my last pair of pants are from this company named these are they came with like this cute little bag it was too cute i was like okay packaging and it came with a cute envelope and everything y'all it was too cute but these are the pants so they lace up on each side and then they have like these holes that are like see-through hope you guys can see that yeah so like they have like these holes in them that show your skin but it like starts at your knees and they flare out at the bottom and it's like a khaki color type of and like the strings are such good quality y'all like i cannot believe this i love these pants i love these pants i think they're so cute and on the back it has like the brand on the back it has like the brand like embedded in the back it's so cute it has two back pockets and stuff i got these in a size four i'm pretty sure Here's a tag, yeah, UK size eight and a US size four. Um, in the back, they have like where you could tie it up to your waist. I really need all my pants to fit my waist. Okay, so now we're gonna start with shirts. So we're gonna start with my Zara shirts first. So the first Zara shirt I got was just this cute little pink shirt. It has no sleeves, it's sleeveless. I'll probably wear it with like a jean jacket just because like dress code in my school and stuff like that, but it's really cute. And it's like a knit sweater material, but it's really thin. So like, you don't have to worry about like being hot or anything. Then I just got this basic black crop from Zara. I got it in a size um, small. And I think I got this in a size small too. I got this shirt in a size small as well. But once again, just like with my black sweats, I just needed a basic black crop. Like I was like, why do I not have just like a basic black crop? So I thought this one was perfect. It's t-shirt, the material is real good, and I liked how it fitted. This is the next shirt that I have from Zara. This shirt is a graphic that's also from Zara. So this is the front, and this is the back. So I don't know, it, it gave me, it gave me like really like really cute vibes, and it also matched one of the pair of shoes that I have for school. So I was like, okay, this is real cute. And it was in the women's section. I got it in a size small because it looked like it ran kind of big. And I was like, this is just too cute. I need it. Okay, so next we're going to do Pretty Little Thing. Because I didn't get much from Pretty Little Thing. Just a couple things. So, from Pretty Little Thing, I got this, this pink shirt. I got this pink cropped wash shirt. And it's real cute, y'all. This is my first time opening it. This is too cute. This is real cute, y'all. Um, I got it in a size small. It is called the Hot Pink Wash Crop T-shirt. And it is so cute. And it's washed. Like, it's like a washed kind of color. Like, it's really cute. And it, it scrunches in at the bottom. So, it'll probably give you more of, like, the, like, you know, like, fluffy type of vibe or whatever. Next thing I got from Pretty Little Thing are these jeans. Now, I accidentally bought two pairs. So, the pair that I own right now is getting tailored in the waist. But, I'm still show you guys this pair. So, they're asymmetrical at the button. So, it looks like this at the waist. And, I got mine's in a size 4. And, like I said, mine's fitted fine. I wear like a size 4, 27, 26, around that area. And they just are a light wash. I thought they did have an acid wash pair, but I think they were um, slitted at the bottom, which I would have got those, but I don't know. But they're just a straight leg light wash jeans. I know I love my light wash. I love my mom jeans. I love my straight leg. I love all of those. So these were definitely cute. And I had to get them. Like I said, my personal pair is getting tailored. I'm sending this pair back because I did not need to buy two pairs. Unless one of you guys want them, then just DM me about that. 
The next package of clothes that I'm about to go through came from H&M. And I just got two pieces from H&M. I ordered them, y'all. I could have went to my local H&M and got them, but I don't know. I got this medium-sized jean jacket. We're about to open it. So, this is the jean jacket. I got it in a medium. Y'all, it is so oversized. I love that. And I think it's cropped. It is... I got it in a size medium. But it doesn't say if it's cropped or not. I think it is cropped. I got it in like an acid-washed kind of crop kind of vibe going on so yeah y'all this is real cute the next thing that i got from h&m is this metallica shirt y'all probably like everybody has this y'all probably do but this is so cute so i got this metallica graphic tee in a size small so this is the front this is metallica and then in the back, it has like, I think tour dates. Yeah, or like the places where they tour date. Just a, just a regular tee for me to wear. I actually don't have like an outfit planned with this or anything, but it was really cute, so. So actually next, I missed um, one of the accessories and bags that I got. I got another bag, y'all. I got it from Dillard's. You can really get this brand offline, Amazon, Dillard's. It's wherever you catch it from. But I got another Kankin bag. So y'all know um, this color is the Flamingo Pink. They call it the Kankin Sling. But all you have to do is just look up Kankin Mini Bag online. And then this will pop up. I love these. Okay, so next I have another shirt. I have a shirt that I got from Nordstrom. Now... From this brand, I have three shirts coming in, but two of them I got off stock eggs, and those are supposed to be here like in a couple of days. So for now, I went to go buy one in store. Happy I found it. So I got a Fear the God Essentials t shirt, and this is in a woman's medium, I think. Hold up, y'all. I think the tag is like on the side. Yeah, it's in a woman's medium. So this is the back, just says essentials. And then the front. So y'all, I tried on the um, large and the medium and I, went, I ended up going with the medium because I liked how it fit. Now, don't get me wrong, I liked the large. It was cute, oversized, it was giving. But y'all know this brand already runs oversized. So I was just like, the medium isn't too much of a big difference. So I went ahead and just got the medium. There's essentials right here and I think it is just so cute last but not least y'all know I love my sneakers y'all know I love my shoes so I got two pairs of shoes right here for school and I'm working on getting another pair y'all because these I need some I need some more I need some more y'all know I'm growing my shoe collection more and more but y'all know I have a Yeezy obsession as well I literally love Yeezys but this is the first pair of shoes that I got. These are the Arkeo Pink or the Arkeo. I think it's Arkeo Pink Dunk. These right here is fire. Hold up. Yeah. These right here is fire. I got these off of Flight Club and they're really, I think they retail for like 180 I want to say. I want to say and I got them in a size 8.5 in and women's because I wear a size 7 in men's. This is like my first ever women's shoe. Like, I don't buy shoes in women's. I usually buy them in grade school. So, yeah. Then, moving on to my second pair. I got some 450s, y'all. I really wanted these shoes. They are so comfortable and so cute. I got them in the color cloud white or cloudy white. I got them in a size 7 half because they said go a half size up. I be watching sneaker videos and everybody was like, go a half size up. They fit like a glove, like a sock. They fit like a sock. So go a half size up for you to have some toe space. And I am so glad I did that because, yeah, they fit really good. I love how they fit on foot. So they come in like the smaller Yeezy box. And I got these off of Flight Club for, I want to say, I got them for 316 because somebody recently just asked me. But y'all, this is the shoe. So cute. It is super cute, super comfy. It looks really dainty on the foot, y'all. It is so cute. 
you do plan on getting these shoes, I suggest going a half size up because like they say, you need some extra toe room and I definitely have a little bit of extra toe room and it fits so good. It's not, it's really snug on your ankle as well right here. Like they fit like a sock y'all. So yeah, these are really good. Okay y'all, so that is it for my back to school haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what grade y'all going to. Tell me when y'all start school. I hope this video gave y'all some ideas of some clothes to buy, some outfits to put together. And always know y'all can ask me. Follow me on social media at Demia Omari. Subscribe, turn on your post notifications. And follow my styling page at Mirabi Co. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.